What's up guys, Jordan here with Objective-C Toro's Lesson 17, Creating the Implementation, which is the methods. Now, the interface is the class's public behavior, and it shows what the class is able to do. That's what we were talking about last lesson, but the implementation is, real, is where the real work of the class is actually done. It's also where you code the specific functionality of the methods and you don't have to put the methods in the same order that they are in the interface and you can also code methods that aren't in the interface now um, first things when you start coding the implementation you need to use those compiler directives like we used for the interface so you put at implementation and says this is the beginning of the implementation and then you put the name of the class that you are implementing from in this case budget and then at the end you put at end and it says this is the end of the implementation of the class now we're just going to be going over one method in this keynote and that method is create budget now the first line is the exact same thing as what's in the interface and it's like how the first line of a function is the function prototype so it correlates very well there now, down below you see those two lines of code, uh, exchange rate equals an exchange rate and budget equals a budget. Now, all we're doing is we're just assigning the arguments to the IVAR that we uh, declared in the interface. So the IVAR is budget and the argument is a budget. Now, if the IVAR and argument had the same name, the compiler would have to decide which one you meant when you tried to access the budget variable. So when you name arg arguments like a budget, it explains what the argument is for, but it's not the same exact name, so the compiler won't get confused. So that's what you want to do. You want to name the arguments close to what you're going to assign them to, but not the exact same thing because that'll cause problems. Now, um, we're going to be going over a little bit more of these two lines of code. So there you see an exchange rate is assigned to exchange rate and a budget is assigned, is assigned to a budget. Now in the previous lessons we did this in the following way with the whole uh, struct variable dot exchange rate and then we assign the values. Now you don't want to do this now because assigning values directly to the variables is not a good idea for two reasons. Because the I bars are protected by default. So you wouldn't even be able to access them. And if you did, it violates encapsulation. And we'll go over that later for right now. But just remember you don't want to assign values directly to the I bars. Now, the rest of the methods. I won't go over the next two methods because they're basically the same thing as uh, the functions in lesson 13. But we will move the NS log into the methods so we can tell exactly when the methods are implemented now. So that's the only really different thing from uh, the functions in lesson 13. Otherwise, they're the exact same thing. And of course, at the end of the implementation, you put at end and says, hey, compiler, we're done with the implementation. So now we're going to jump into Xcode and code up the implementation. Okay, so here we are in Xcode and go ahead and open up the program that we were working with last time. And before we get going in the implementation, I actually had a typo last time. It's supposed to be charge foreign currency, not change foreign currency. But once you've changed that, um, right below at end, type at implementation and then it comes up with the format for the implementation we're going to be implementing from the budget class so here we go uh, it's void and then we're gonna first start off with the method that we worked with in the keynote and we're just going to be assigning the arguments to the i bars and then make sure it's the lowercase budget and then assign a budget to it and then we're done with that method 
Now on to the next one, which is spend dollars with the argument dollars. And we're just going to subtract dollars from the budget and then reassign that value to budget. And then we're going to declare or we're going to show this in NS log. So converting percent dot two F percent dot two F US dollars into foreign currency leaves dollar sign percent dot two F and then dollars comma budget and then close that out with a semicolon and then we're all done with this method now the last method is chain or charge foreign currency and first off what we do is we assign well first off we multiply foreign currency times the exchange rate and then we assign it to the exchange transaction and then we subtract this and then reassign the value to we subtract it from uh, budget and then we reassign that value to budget and then we display all this in NS log so this is exactly like what we've what we did uh, back in lesson 13 so charging percent dot 2f in foreign currency leaves dollar sign percent dot 2f and foreign currency comma budget close it out with a semicolon and close it out with the brace now you can go ahead and save that so we're all done with the implementation here so that's all for this lesson but in the next lesson we're actually going to be creating an object and sending it messages so it'll be a real real exciting lesson but please subscribe above if you haven't already comment below and like this video and check out some of my other videos and objective c lessons if you haven't already and thanks for watching